Thanks to Mott back in Chicago. We've gone through, uh, we've only got 10 minutes left. We haven't even talked about the State of the Union address. Wow. Uh, Nick, come, uh, that was a four-bagger for you? Uh, the State of the Union? Yeah. Oh, it was a very impressive performance, I would you say. You think there was enough uh, reality TV in there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. With all the returning war hero and the kid who was going to uh, their charter school, no, he hit all of the right notes. No, I know, Alexander, you'd like to rip up the speech just like Nancy did. I, here's the question. Here's the question that everybody needs to answer. At the end of the State of the Union, if you watch the entire thing, from walking in until Pelosi ripped up the speech, who did that, who do you think attracted independent voters? That's what this is all about. Yes. Who do you think attracted any independent voters? But the question was it, also was is... It, was it the Democrats sitting there all in white, scowling and refusing to stand, and Nancy ripping up the speech? Or was it Trump reaching out to African Americans, sounding like a reasonable guy, being on the teleprompter? It's a serious question. First of all, Alexander, the full Alexander. support of Nancy ripping up the speech. Loved every moment of it. Good. I will Don't admit Because you're a strong yeah. partisan Democrat. That's but, but not what I'm asking about. Let's let go. Literally, everything that came anymore. out of Trump's mouth, mouth to me was nearly all lies. And it was so uncomfortable is low. that I That's often had to walk away for a moment. That's how uncomfortable I was. You're entitled there. to your own opinions, opinions not your own facts. So. I, I was not impressed, and no one I know was impressed. In you're, not you're not answering my um, question. You're not answering my question. The question about moderates... I think that when you independence, do independence, who, who, after the fact checking, if finish, they were following, they knew after the fact checking that that was that the things he were saying was not no, true. No, because the fact checking was all Mike in Lieber. It was an exaggeration. Mike Lieber. It doesn't move the needle at all. People's feelings about Trump are baked in. People's feelings about Trump are baked in. The ratings were low. It doesn't move the needle. Even for African Americans. Yeah, they're they're yeah. they're, they're like African Americans can't stand Trump. Period. Uh, well, you know, he's racist. Yeah, well, the African yeah, they, Americans don't. African Americans generally like don't. African Americans generally racist. don't like people who are either racist to them, or say terrible things about them, or enact policies that harm them. So, how about, how about the second a chance? How about the Second Chance Act? Did they like that, uh, Alexandra? The Second Chance Act. I mean, first of all, I feel the fact that we'd even say that that. The black vote is going to go towards Trump is absolutely ridiculous. To I me. didn't I say the black vote. He doesn't need point the point black point. vote. He needs a portion of the black vote. And my question to you is, as the president who, who passed and signed and, and his, his, his son-in-law led the, the, the legislative battle for the Second Chance Act, uh, which was referenced in the Super Bowl ad as well. He spent $10 million to get a message out. Are you saying that no black folks are going to be... That commercial by that? was disgusting, and it was Why? upsetting. <laughs> and I Why? and I find that this one <laughs> second chance because it was effective. that this one the one time that someone got a second chance, and it, it, and it's my understanding that Kim Kardashian had a lot to do with that particular second so, chance. So? I I find so, the commercial so to be woman offensive. politically active. Are you opposed to Kim Kardashian? I wouldn't call Kim Kardashian politically woman? active. I would say that she's politically sensitive and, and very effective if she helped get the Second Chance Act passed. If you're a fan of Kim Kardashian, I am not. Debate, but but however, I, I want to be objective I find here, that Alexander. commercial to be to, to be completely offensive. I think that it was it was it, it was obviously perfectly placed in a programming where we knew that there was a large uh, block of African First Americans time. watching it, and the commercial gave an example of one person getting a second chance trying to pretend like he was giving more people second chances. Well, he it did is. give more people. <laughs> that was the he point did, of the legislation. Uh, Alexander, do you not know that he gave other people a second chance and they weren't all African Americans? Are you are you deny are I you do denying not think the that that's a platform appropriate to, for him to be touting when he is blatantly are, racist? Are you are you He's are you, very racist. He's are not you racist. And Alexander also perpetuating anti-Semitism. Do you know when uh, in, in when he was in New York City, he received a lifetime Achievement Award from Jesse Jackson for his support of the black community. Do you realize that happened? Did he all of a sudden become a, a racist care. on the she day he like became him. president? So, so Mike, didn't nonsense. like those facts. Mike, are you a big fan of Jesse Jackson? Uh, I, a, a young <laughs> Jesse Jackson, not the most recent Jesse Jackson. <laughs> But he gave up. Oh, so now you're attacking Jesse Jackson. No, I'm just asking what because kind of a, it seems. What kind of response is that? It, it, it seems like so Jesse you'll Jackson, use Jesse Jackson. Jesse for one Jackson gives purpose. him this lifetime award for supporting the black community 
And somehow, between that and all of a sudden, and when, nobody when ever did, talked about this he, guy when, in the press being when a racist. Did, when did he, he became a racist. When okay. did he give him that award? About 2010, uh, 2011. If that, well, if that's, if that's the case, how come Donald Trump got, what, 4% of the black vote? I want to come, Six? folks, I want to come back to the question. The oh. question was, and, and I'm going to ask you, Alexandra, so simply. just a moment. Everybody's a racist. What, Mike? Alexandria, oh my gosh! Do you do you not acknowledge that the Second Chance Act affects an awful lot of ex-offenders, many of whom are African American? I think that giving folks a second chance is a good thing, and I what I. I feel as though he ostracized the situation. And like In you said, way? the Second Chance Act helped folks of all, of all different colors, all different races, all different walks. And in this case, what they showed there was an opportunity to ostracize, trying to make it seem like he was helping black folks. And I disagree. He is not helping black people. You do not think he's helping black people? I do not. I do not think letting, our president by letting is creating a people culture out of, prison of acceptance been and helping with, the community. You're, you're, you're not acknowledging my question. Are you acknowledging that ever you're acknowledging and basically stating that that African Americans who've been released under the Second Chance Act, they're not important? Blacks they, know that this is the guy who said there are good people on both sides of he that race. He was talking march. about the statue. This is the guy. Don't repeat Black that lie. Folks know oh what is gosh. in this guy's heart. They don't care. They don't care about the facts. You had to push that in, didn't you? I mean, just, you I just like push, I like pushing in the truth. I believe it's in the truth. It's not the truth. It's a lie. Go to the videotape. It's a lie. Go to the videotape. If you go to the videotape, you'll find out people that on both sides. that's not what he said. He was talking about people that, that supported the Confederate flag on state property. That's exactly right. Including the people right. with the hoods and the tiki torches. Oh. People in there as well, but that's not what he was talking about. But again, you know, that's the message for the Democrats. Uh, certainly, we've heard tonight. That, now you know uh, why I can't possibly no, vote for a Democrat. There's going to. <laughs> you just you said, you've said it again. We've made you more of a Republican tonight, Mike. <laughs> Another vote for Trump. Vote for Trump. The first like to bring time. Bruce one. Dumont, we've got to say good night to Alexandra Eidenberg and to Michael Lieber, our Democrats, to our Republicans, uh, Mike Miller, and to Nick Com. Our thanks to Hector Pacheco. And Andrew Marshall and Fritz Goldman. I'm Bruce Dumont. Good night from Chicago.